Mm. Like Ray, I see. I see you holding your staff. Oh gosh, is that a... <laughs> okay? That we could go. Oh, gosh, brown chicken, brown cow. Okay. <laughs> Let me show you the power of my forest. <laughs> well, I guess. In... Oh, oh, the force is so strong. I see your Never. Schwartz is as big as mine. Oh, <laughs> yeah, never mind. Oh, and then it looks like Keanu Reeves is in talks with Marvel. Yeah. So that could be awesome. It's... And it looks like. Disney Plus is still in talks with John Berthnell for Punisher. Yeah, which brings me to another issue now that you brought up the Punisher. Uh, some people are trying to persuade Marvel to retire the Punisher's logo. See, I think you could... I don't necessarily agree with that. Me neither. Because most people that are out there displaying the Punisher's logo don't understand that that motherfucker would kill them for doing what they did. Right, and, and I think it'd be a good time and a good platform to to, to do that to show that you yeah. could do a whole episode on that. Yeah, you know, uh, that's what a lot of people don't understand. You know, the you're wearing the Punisher symbol. If the Punisher was a real individual, he would fucking annihilate all uh, everybody. Oh gosh, we would be reading yeah. a totally different headline right now. Anyway. Right. I, I think they should go for it. I, I well, you know, I, I'm a huge fan of the character to begin with, and, and John Berthno really, really won me over uh, on his portrayal of the character. Well, yeah, uh, like I, I said, was very leery when I first heard about it. Yes, um, when I first I, heard him playing it, I was like, I didn't like uh, him. I was uh, like, not nah. Shane, the guy from The Walking Dead. I was like, I don't like him. Oh, fuck that guy. Right. Then, then all of a sudden, you know, uh, I saw him when he did the cameos uh, in uh, Daredevil, and I was yeah. like, and I was like, okay, and oh, then, yeah, oh, okay, the, oh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> oh. And then uh, when I saw the Punisher series, I was like, oh, I don't want to see anybody else as the Punisher for a very long time. As long as this motherfucker can pull it off, uh, he's the Punisher. Of course, chances are actors don't want to be cast, you know, typecast as, you know. Yeah, there's only been one other actor that I've seen play the Punisher um, that I really got behind. Uh, let me see, what was his name? Looking him up right now. And you're talking about the guy that played Warzone, right? Yes, yes, that's the guy. Yeah, I I like the, the well, what was his name? Tom... Jane? Uh, Ray Stevenson was his name. Ray Stevenson. I, I like the one where uh, he fights John Travolta. Oh, okay. You're talking about Tom Thomas Jane? Is that his name? Yeah, or Tom, Tom? Tom Jane, Thomas Jane. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe uh, the, I don't know, the, the girl that came out there with John Travolta. Man, that woman was hot. Yeah. Jesus, yes. Yeah, I, I remember that. But uh, th that I like that version of The Punisher. Uh I was happy with that. I saw Punisher Warzone. That 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 was fucking awesome too. Not, I mean, but then I think here's the. I think we're talking about two different times in in the Punisher, right? Yeah. Like like one of them, like the Thomas Jane one, was when he was, you know, when he first like the became like the origin story. Yeah. Yeah, what and, then, and then Ray Stevenson, is. this is after he's been doing it for a while, and he's fucking grizzled. You know, yeah. he's been doing this, and, and, and he's got a lot of bodies on his soul. And, and you know, yep. um, because I enjoyed both of them. I really did. I thought both of them were really, really well done. Yep. Uh, but uh, as far as the Punisher that I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing more of, I think Ray Stevenson is kind of who I'd like. Because, um, you know, Tom Berthno has you know, got the character going and, and, and moved it along. And if they if they were to replace him, I think Ray Stevenson would be a good choice. You but know, let's fast forward it. I'm thinking what it is isn't what, yeah, but isn't what's his name, uh, a lot younger. So he has, oh, more, John, yeah, John birth. He, he has, yeah, more, he's a lot younger. He's, he's got a lot more to give, you know, than I think Ray he's, Stevenson. he's younger than we are. Motherfucker. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll pro- look it up right quick. Probably about, I'm pretty sure he's like in his 30s. He's about 10 years younger than we are probably. Uh, not that we're old or anything. I mean, we're middle-aged nine-year-olds unsupervised behind microphones. Oh, it says he's 48. Fuck, he's older than us. Yeah. Holy right. shit. Hold on, let me... Wow, I don't feel so wait, bad now. Wait, wait, I spelled it wrong. Yeah, fucker. 44. 44, okay, so he's even younger than you by one yeah, year. He's, well, not, yeah, not by much. In fact, almost to the day. He okay. was uh, born on the 20th, and I was born on the 30th. Yeah. Exact, almost like one year and 10 days well, we are apart. Well, fuck this shit. Now, now I don't feel good. I was just starting to feel good about this shit, and then, well, <laughs> well, fuck you very much. Thank you. <laughs> You're just fucking old. What can I say? Not old. I'm um, vintage. Uh, You're well preserved. Well preserved. <laughs> that that got to thank McDonald's for that. Anyway, speaking of McDonald's, I was just looking at something the other day. And I saw some memes about it, and I, I don't know. For whatever reason, it didn't really hit me until last night. McDonald's went from being a place where you would walk in and just feel fun to a place where you're just like, oh, this fucking sucks. I'm here again. Hmm. You ever notice that? Like, they went from playgrounds and, and, you know, all this fun stuff and colorful pictures on the wall. Like, everything was bright and cheery and colorful and Ronald McDonald and, well, you know, the, the hamburger. And, you know what I mean? Just bright and cheery and fun. Well, because we live and, in a society just, that uh, can't fucking take responsibility for their own fucking actions. So they blame Ronald McDonald and all the little characters for making kids fat. No. It's that's your job as a parent. Uh, that's your job as to yourself, you know, to take care of yourself. It is fast food. Yeah. It's definitely not good for you. It's supposed to be kind of like emergency food on the road, on the run. Right, know? right, right. Like you're in a hurry and, and, you know. It's not supposed to be your, you know, source You eat of, that for lunch and then you have a healthy dinner at home because you know you ate rough for lunch. You know what I mean? But yeah. I don't know. I just I saw it yesterday. I'm just like, this place is fucking depressing. Well, it's because of the way people have become. They're like, oh, retire Ronald McDonald because uh, he's killed more people than the Joker. More people than it. Yeah, I yeah. get it. It still sucks, though. Well, it's kind of like what we were just talking about, retiring the logo of the Punisher because of what some stupid people did. Why do the right. rest of us got to suffer? Because yeah. some people are idiots. Fuckers. Exactly. And fuckers. Yeah, fuck them. Anyway, uh, geez. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, that's I'm saying a, you get angry. I like this side. That felt good. Well, this is the way it's supposed to be from the get-go. Eh? This is the way. This is I the way. I have spoken. <laughs> now, now, following that meme on Facebook, I don't know if you've seen it, where you add, you piece of shit, you know, Star Wars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That, we, that got started in my house the other day. I was surprised that... Uh, Mrs. Potter went along with it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like this is the way, you piece of shit. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay. For everybody that's, that's or- not following along, uh, there was a meme that came across, and it said, it said for, think of your favorite story, your uh, Star Wars uh, quote. quote, and then at the end of it, put you piece of shit. Add you piece of so shit. So it doesn't matter, like, Luke, I am your father, you piece of shit. <laughs> 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 no, you piece of shit. <laughs> or uh, do or do not. I will not join you, you piece of shit. Uh, yeah, kind of like. Uh, I love you. I know you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that one too. That I was cracking up with that one. These are not the droids you're looking for, you piece of shit. In fact. <laughs> <laughs> well. Holy shit. We had a lot of fun with that one. That, that, that one cracked me oh, up. Oh, gosh. You're not, I should have, you know, the one from uh, the Phantom Menace where Qui-Gon meets uh, Jar Jar, where he tells him, the ability to speak does not make you intelligent, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> that one would have been. <laughs> oh, gosh. It was like, I saw one of them, somebody posted it. They, they said, in in the voice of Chewbacca, ah, you piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, hey. That's uh You know he had to think thought some of them thoughts. I'm pretty sure. Like when he, especially when he saw when he saw Han Solo all kissing all up on his girl Leia, you know he thought about it. <laughs> oh yeah, and we're back on that right with Leia got some Wookie Nookie, right? I'm just saying. <laughs> all right. Oh man, drop the drop the 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 Wookie D. <laughs> oh gosh. We got some big things coming out as far as movies coming up, don't we? Don't we have WandaVision coming out soon? Or not WandaVision, but uh, Black Widow? Uh, yeah. I think it's going and straight have you seen? Have you seen uh, Wonder Woman? No, not yet. Uh, I'm waiting for I'm the, looking forward to it. I'm waiting for it to be on the red box, I guess. Cause I am I'm looking not, forward to it. Because I am not um, going to get HBO Max right now. No matter, but they said that they said that all the uh, all the DC uh, movies, everything is going straight over there, which sucks. Yeah, well, they're doing away with the DC app itself. Everything from that app, like Teen yeah. Titans and all of that, is going to HBO Max, right? It already did. It's been huh. uh, the DC app has been discontinued, and yeah, I really wanted to watch the fuck Batman show, but you know. Well, you know there's there's ways you can watch that, right? You know there's things you can plug into your TV. Yeah, well, I'm not familiar with the dark ways of the force there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe I'll have to uh, see what I can do. My young apprentice. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> my young Padawan. No, Padawan. Strong will... in the ways of the force I am. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I live in the dark web. Uh, so there's no paddle ones there. They're apprentices. It's a Sith yeah. thing. Jeez. Well, yeah. Imagine if what if what if what if okay, here's a crazy fucked up thought. What if Luke was a, a Sith all along? Hmm. Wow. Uh, he chose to be a Jedi. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. He he almost killed um, Kylo Ren. Yeah, that's the one thing that, uh, I don't know. That was, the, yeah. And that wasn't very Jedi-ish. No, that wasn't. Um, geez. <laughs> I mean, I'm oh, saying. I mean, I I understand. Like, what? Okay, so what? What do you? Would you consider Luke a Jedi? Uh, let's see. Or would you consider him a gray Jedi? Probably a, a gray Jedi. You know, someone that decides that I'll dabble into the dark side of the Force. I'll use the light side, but only to keep balance. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I, I would say I would say Luke, Luke was more of a gray Jedi than he was. Well, he really had no. Because he ran away. Well, he had no other no other Jedi's to answer to. There was no Jedi Council. There was no. And I don't know. I mean, yeah, sure. They, they... He was the only one for a while, though, wasn't he? Supposedly, I mean, uh, apparently now we're finding out that there was there were others. I mean, there's Ahsoka. Yeah, and apparently Grogu will be will yep. be part of that. You know, I, I I hope that later on along the line, once they're done with the Mandalorian story, they continue with Grogu. But I'd like to see him being like a Mandalorian Jedi. That'd be dope. You know, like a little fucker with uh, with the armor, but has a lightsaber. Yeah, and, that would be awesome. And, and obviously uses the Force. I don't know. Something like that. That'd be know. crazy. That would, that would be cool. I could see that. I also hope they continue on Soka. Well, hey, uh, I, you got my you got my vote right there. Hey, any? I thought she was badass in that role. It does. Okay, that woman. I don't care what role it is, whether it be Clerks Two, uh, fucking uh, uh the zombie movie. <laughs> 